Thank right. you very much, Kelly. No worries. Okay, Kelly, you, thank you for giving, giving us some time. Can you just introduce yourself and let us know what your expertise field is? Yep, sure. My name's Kelly. I'm an engineer on the mechatronics team for Team New Zealand. Fantastic, thank you. Um, now we had a great day out on the water today. It was uh, bottom end of the range, probably six to ten knots uh, of wind speed, sort of north, maybe a little bit of east of north. Uh, we did notice that you seem to be running uh, a different foil, a non one design foil on the port arm. Yes, very observant. I know, First I new know. foil of the campaign. Oh. Pretty exciting day for us. It is um, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, beautiful weather, beautiful conditions to be trying a new bit of a new bit of gear. Um, I mean, obviously, we, we couldn't really tell any straight line difference. Um, it did seem to be a little bit. We were getting used to tacking and jiving onto it, um, but we seemed to get that down by the end of the day. Any input on that? Yeah, I mean, obviously, we like to be trying lots of new things, trying to figure out, um, you know, the best way to sail a boat kind of learn as much as we can about these new foils and um, yeah, there's definitely some learnings that always go along with it. Just getting used to getting used to something different. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Now the transition between, you know, a, a basically an asymmetric boat going from one side to the other, does that make the, the gathering of data more difficult? Um, no, not really. Not really? <laughs> there's, there's no sort of line that you draw, you know, halfway through the manoeuvre and that's when you've got a sort of you know, just change the math, as it were? Uh, it kind of depends. Um, I mean, Elise does a lot of our performance analysis, and she's kind of got it down to the science okay. after so many years on the team. Um, but, yeah. And so with, with your role, you're gathering as much data from this, these on-the-water testings, yep. and then that, that is fed back into models? Is that where, where we um, first phase kind of thing? Yeah, I mean, a lot of it's fed back to the design team, um, just kind of checking that everything's either working as it should or um, working differently than we thought it would. Um, so, yeah, it, it kind of depends what data we're collecting, what we're feeding it back into, whether they want to use it in models or just sort of understanding performance-wise how we're doing. Um, so yeah, obviously there's lots and lots that we want to learn about this new foil. Right. Yeah. Definitely. Now we've noticed with some of the other teams, especially the English who haven't tested yet, they have a sensor on the front of their, their bustle. Obviously we don't know exactly what they're measuring with that, but can you see an advantage in being able to gather data from that area? Um, it sort of just depends what they want to understand, what they want to learn about. Um, 